More fun than movies, this is Trailer Told, a YouTube channel in the world. Thank you for clicking. Check out the playlist for a different video. Subscriptions are a big boost. My name is Joe Modulewski. I'm the development director at Limited Run Games, and I'm overseeing development of Clock Tower Rewind. Clock Tower is a very unsettling game. It's a very disturbing or sinister game. Your character is extremely vulnerable, and the limits to what you can do as the player, I think, contribute to that feeling. It's a staple in the beginnings of the survival horror genre, and it's a game that was only released in one territory in the past. There are other franchises that I think get too much of the credit for where this genre came from, and I think it's really exciting to have people be able to see some more of these ideas in a way that they've never seen before, coming from a place that they may not have thought they came from. But this game that is so integral to the creation of that genre, or at least the explosion of that genre, has been inaccessible for decades. And for a lot of people that want to go back to the roots and see where a lot of these ideas came from or where a lot of thematic choices came from, they've had to go through a variety of hoops or less than ideal means to experience something that is really historically important. All parts of the original experience were left the way that they were. We didn't change any of the art assets, any of the audio assets, or any of the gameplay features. We wanted to make sure that we didn't do anything that compromises the integrity of the original experience. We wanted to keep it as it was, but not to a point that it degrades the experience for people coming in that maybe didn't play games back when this came out. Maybe they expect more modern features. We've added things like saving anywhere and rewind that allows you to reverse small mistakes and you can also load back to a previous save if you want to go back far enough to address something you might have done to mess up an ending you were trying to get. The localization, I think, is the most important new feature. It makes the game more accessible to a variety of people who never had a chance to play it before. WayForward has added a new animated intro, voice acted manga cutscenes. So I was sent to Granite Orphanage, the place where I live now. New vocal tracks. restored content from the PlayStation 1 version of the game, and an interview with the game's original director. Clock Tower Rewind will be available later this year on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series S and X, and Steam.